Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. In March's bonus, I want to talk about breathing. Deep breathing can support you with physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual clutter. And best of all, it's free. If you are releasing physical clutter and becoming overwhelmed, stop and take some deep breaths. If you're stressed, seeking mental clarity, take deep breaths. If you feel yourself starting to get angry, breathe deeply. Struggling with forgiveness or jealousy? Try some breath work to get you centered. I've learned to become very aware of my breathing. I've noticed when I get upset, angry, or become ungrounded, I stop breathing. My jaw is usually clenched, or I hold my breath, or it is very shallow. I work with a coach monthly, and my assignment from last month was to be more aware of my breathing and work on exercises as much as possible. Do you notice when you hold your breath, stop breathing, or do not breathe deeply? I now try and practice breathing daily. This has had a huge impact when I do it. When I start to have a knee-jerk reaction, I try to remember to breathe. I have signs around my office with breathe to remind me. Someone sent me a nasty email the other day. I felt like I got punched in the stomach. By breathing, I could get centered, back in my body, and respond not from anger, but from a place of neutrality and clarity. There are lots of benefits from breathing from the diaphragm and deeply. I encourage you to do your own research, but some of the ways it supports you are deep breathing releases toxins, releases tensions, can lessen pain, it strengthens your immune system, supports digestion, and boosts energy. There are a lot of different breathing techniques you can use. I am sure there are YouTube videos out there for every type of breathing technique. I'm going to show you two breathing techniques today. The first one is from my teacher, Elizabeth Tuttle of Inner Reflections. It's part of my homework, so you can join me in doing homework. Sit quietly. Take a deep breath from your belly. Feel your belly expand as you inhale. Continue to move your breath upwards on the inhale, moving through your belly, solar plexus, chest, heart, high heart and throat. So deep breath in. So expand your belly through your solar plexus, chest, heart, high heart and throat. Exhale slowly and visualize your breath moving out the back of your heart. Try several deep breaths like this. Repeat as often as you are able. Resting at a light, bored at the doctor's office, waiting in line, practice your breathing. Let's do this two more times. Take a deep breath from your belly. Expand your belly as you inhale. Continue to inhale and expand as your breath moves up your belly, solar plexus, chest, heart, high heart and throat. Exhale slowly and visualize your breath moving out the back of your heart. One more time, take a deep breath in from your belly. Feel your belly expand as you inhale. Continue to move your breath upwards on the inhale, moving through your belly, solar plexus, chest, heart, high heart and throat. Exhale slowly and visualize your breath moving out the back of your heart. Another exercise that I've found is from Dr. Andrew Weil. I first read about this exercise in his book, Spontaneous Healing. He has some additional breathing techniques on his website and I encourage you to check it out. This particular exercise is a natural tranquilizer for the nervous system. Here are the instructions. Sit with your back straight while learning the exercise. Place the tip of your tongue against the ridge of tissue just behind your upper front teeth and keep it there through the entire exercise. 
You exhale through your mouth around your tongue. Purse your lips slightly if this seems awkward. Dr. Weil suggests always inhaling quietly through your nose and exhaling audibly through your mouth. Exhalation takes twice as long as inhalation. He suggests doing this cycle four times. You're going to exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound like this. Close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose to a mental count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath for a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound to a count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to repeat this cycle three more times for a total of four breaths. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound. Close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose to a mental count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath for a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound to a count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound. Close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose to a mental count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath for a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound to a count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last round. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound. Close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose to a mental count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath for a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale completely through your mouth, making a whoosh sound to a count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If neither of these exercises work for you, I encourage to get on Google, get on YouTube, and find some breathing exercises that do. Breathing is a great way to help you with physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual clutter. All right, everyone, get out there and breathe to clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.